Hey, what's good viewers? Today I've got the Guardians of the Galaxy 5 box. It was an Entertainment Earth exclusive. Here's the box. It's actually a really cool looking box. The box art on the inside flap is the same as the outside flap. On the back they got a cool setup of all the actual toys, pose and everything. On the side they got the symbol for the Guardians of the Galaxy with their faces in it. I love that it's comic accurate. One of the main things that drew me to the set was the fact that it was comic accurate and not accurate to the movies. Nothing against the movies. I just personally like the way comic book characters look. The set comes with Gamora up here. Rocket, Raccoon. Comes with Groot, Thanos, Star Lord. I will review each one separately as just a time saver. The other reason why I will review each one separately is because some people might just be interested in a few. Because this is the day and age of eBay, and you may only want Star Lord, you may only want Thanos. So, without further ado, let's start opening. So I'm this gonna baby start up. the box set with my favorite of the set, Gamora, and I'm gonna go through as to why she is my favorite. And you kind of have to watch the other ones to see why she's my favorite. And it has nothing to do with the fact that the other ones are bad, but just the fact that I prefer this one better. I just like the style and everything better. I love the gold around her eyes. I like the way her face just looks. She's pretty... I'm not sure how comic accurate she actually is, but I, that doesn't really matter to me personally. So this figure comes with two head sculpts. This is the first one. It's fine and everything. I like the way the hair is sculpted. It looks really nice. And the hood is permanently attached to her head. There's no removing the hood at all. The cape comes, on, comes off. So you can't really have this head sculpt without the cape or else it just looks really funny. I mean, you you can, but it doesn't look right. It looks okay, but you really need to put her on with the cape. The thing I like about the design of this cape is that it kind of just snaps over her shoulders, and it actually fits on there fairly well. And I'm comparing this to the other Marvel Legend of the Thor and Odin bath, where it had a peg hole in the back, and it did not stay in at all. This one actually stays on the shoulders quite well. I'm having a little bit of trouble with it right now, but I'm also standing quite far away from it and my arms are pretty much stretched. What I don't like about this face is her expression with her mouth. It's just kind of like, close your mouth lady, what are you doing? Are you smiling? Are you growling? I mean, what are you doing? So I don't really understand that, it just it looks kind of weird. And we don't get much diversity with the other head sculpt. It would have been a lot better if this face came with the hood and the other, and this face had like a growling look to it or a combat yelling face you know like she's attacking something but both of them are the pretty much the same expression this one the better of the two just because the way the other one looks the hair sculpt is very nice in this I love the way it looks it's flowing really well it looks nice but it'll also hinder the articulation which I'll show here in a soon actually you probably won't get any articulation out of it because the way it's sculpted piece of cloth cape you know it's removable I really like the way it looks they gave it a tattered look I'm a real advocate of real clothing or real fab fabric instead of plastic. And I don't know, that's just a personal preference. I understand that everyone's like that. And it is removable. The body mold looks really good without the cape. She's not wearing much clothes at all. We have a pretty basic Hasbro female mold right here, which is not a big problem at all. If you've watched any other reviews, this is it's pretty generic. It's like the Bucky Cat mold. Um, the only real problem with it is the fact that it doesn't have ab crunch. All the paint apps look excellent. I'm not really seeing any issues here with the paint, you know, with under paint showing through or paint mishaps. Everything looks like it's been pretty well done. You can even see she's got some straps on the side. You get a closer look at the belt. It's a nice skull looking belt. That looks cool. I like that a lot. She also comes with the sword. Another thing I really like about this figure is they didn't just paint it all one color. Sometimes Hasbro likes to get really lazy with their swords. In order to get it into her hands, you're going to have to pull her fingers back a little bit and slide it in there. Fits well in the hand. So articulation with the first head sculpt. She gets a little bit more out of this head sculpt, but not much more. She can look left and right. She can't look down at all, but she can look up just a little bit. With the other head sculpt, you're not going to get any articulation out of it at all. So you can actually put the cape on with this head sculpt too. And it actually, the cape actually stays on a little bit better because of the way the hair is pushing down on it. And it actually doesn't look too bad. Shoulder articulation can go up this much and it'll go around 360. She's got a upper bicep swivel, 
a single jointed elbow, hinge on the wrist, and a swivel. I mentioned before, little to no ab crunch. It goes back pretty far, but you're not going to get any forward movement at it at all. Upper thigh swivel, thighs will go up that far, and because of her massive bottom, it will not go back at all really. Double jointed knees, and then we have an ankle rocker ball joint. As I mentioned at the start of the video, this is my favorite. I can't really pinpoint why it's my favorite. Maybe it's because we've already got the other figures. We did get another Gamora, but she wasn't comic accurate one bit. She was, you know, looked 100% like the movie, and that was a really crappy figure. Of course, I would highly recommend this Gamora figure. Keep watching for the rest of the reviews in this box set. Of course, this will have Drax, Rocket, Groot, and Star-Lord. I will link them in the comment section below. Also in the comment section below, you'll find the link to Big Bag Toy Store, which is my favorite toy store, so check it out. Thanks for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. Bye.